Hello everybody, dear friends, this is Sambal Priyapila and today I again welcome you to a new blog. So dear friends, today I will share something uh, very important and uh, this is about vocabulary. Dear friends, many of fun, a lot of people ask me that how can we improve our vocabulary. Then I suddenly wonder that why these people are asking about vocabulary. Is it about that they want to speak very commanding and impressive English? Is it so? Then that point of time I disagree. So there is no point of speaking good English if you have any strong vocabulary. It is alright if you are asking me the same question if you want to write very brilliant, uh, very tough exams like TOEFLs like uh, a lot of exams are there where uh, you need strong vocabularies to uh, clear of all the exams and uh, these days uh, we are writing the competitive exams okay and that time i don't belittle the importance of a strong vocabulary but your intention your notion each that you if you want to speak commanding english only because your vocabulary i totally disagree and I, I don't believe in that things because speaking has certain certain different skill speaking is a different and vocabulary gaining a vocabulary is something different skill right so there is no connection between speaking and your vocabulary you need some words definitely you need some words but I cannot guarantee you that you can be better off in your English if you have bunches of words in your stock of vocabulary. Dear friends, why do we people uh, talk? Why do we people talk? Why we converse to the people uh, in our general conversation? I'm, I'm going to tell you. We talk to people for three major reasons. First, we try to communicate some information. We try to deliver some information to our friends, to our colleague, to our students, to our friends, right? Secondly, we talk to people, basically, of course, for a impress the people, right? And thirdly, to inspire the people, to inspire the people. I'm going to take the first one. If your intention is to impress the people, if your intention is to inform the people certain information, then why do you need tough and jargon vocabulary? Is it really important to deliver your information, to best reach your information to your friend, to best reach or to implant the ideas or the information that you have to your friends? No, your top vocabulary, your jargons and very, very difficult words will not help you in reaching the information. Okay, is it clear? Then about your impression. Many a time we think of one that how can we speak very, very commanding English and make the people impressive? How can we make the people impressive? How can I uh, impress my team, my colleague, uh, my, uh, my higher authorities? Okay, leave it uh, the higher authorities to my colleague, to my uh, small, small kids. What is the point of impressing them? What is the point of impress them? Do I need difficult words to impress them? No. There is no point of impress the people. You need to, you need to deliver the information and a best structure ideas and a plan and strategic way you need to convey the information to your friends okay that how you can impress you want the plan you want the plan to best way execute best way execute best way work out in your and your organization where you are working in uh, the place where uh, you are engaged in so that point of time you not you need not any vocabulary okay then 
इंस्पायर पीपल इंस्पायर पीपल सो ड्यूरिंग द टाइम वेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू द पीपल टू इंस्पायर वाई डू यू नीड इन वाई डू यू नीड सच बोक अबल रिच सो बी बिग वर्ड्स सब हाई फाइव वर्ड्स वाई डू यू नीड दैट खाइंड ऑफ बोक अबल रिच वेन यू आर इंस्पायरिंग पीपल दैट मीन्स यू आर टेलिंग यूर ओन सक्सेस स्टोरी एंड दैट टाइम यू आर urging people you want the people to travel the journey from where you have started and where you have reached now that is your motto is that clear so if during your conversation or during you are inspiring to your friends to your viewers right to your subscribers then that point of time if you are using difficult words then they will be mislead because they will not understand you their journey will will be wayward in some way they will lead to some other way if they fail to understand if they fail to perceive or interpret the word you are using in your in inspiring talk that point of time also uh, the thing or the motif you are trying to or trying to imprint among your friends or viewers then it will be failed so while you are inspiring then you are telling your own story and letting the people go the way you have chosen that is your motto and th- inspiring people through difficult words i don't agree on this i don't agree on this and in sp- the people who inspire every people has the right to inspire if you have done any sort of a phenomenal work if you have done any sort of brilliancy in your life you have the sole right to impress other people okay so impressing people is not authorized to only certain groups of people everybody has the right to inspire people okay then finally i will talk about that how can we improve the vocabularies the best way to improve the vocabulary is whatever words you are coming across in your day to life that you must have to note down and then those what need to be used in your de- regular conversation my dear friends you may be remembering a lot of words you know and whenever you listen to some important talks on television like uh television like lok sabha tv rajya sabha tv and very importantly uh, arnab goswami uh, store uh, when he presents the report very very difficult words are being reported very very difficult words uh, are being discussed and many of on you can understand them also you you can understand all those words very clearly but at a point of time you thought that i knew this word i knew this word but i am not able to use this one that point of time you must realize that unless or until you use those words you cannot make them an active vocabulary in your del- de- regular conversation so whatever store of words they are in your mind then must be used in your regular conversation and this way you can definitely improve your vocabulary another story i must say you know the famous english in india like dr shashi tharoor horse bogley and many more people the huge very very commanding words you just imagine the range of vocabulary they have each and every sentence you need to consult a dictionary while you are uh, watching their so really and and it and how they are doing all those things uh, so easily so spontaneously so spontaneous means automatically how how is it happening that's only because of their constant practice and using the words in their regular conversation that's the best way and this is my perspective about learning the vocabulary use the vocabulary in your regular conversation and you will definitely get it done 
and uh, share your own perspective that what other uh, things we can do to improve our vocabularies. So definitely comment, share and uh, like my post. Thank you, thank you. With this I am signing out, this is Sambal Friya Villa and I will catch you very very soon with a new blog again. Bye.